In other people's eyes, it's a fork. In his eyes, it is the key to escape from prison. First, he pressed the spoon against the sole of his shoe and rubbed it hard. Then he finds a guard and asks for a new one. His partner distracted the man. Mike thus took the spoon in a straightforward manner, and on closer inspection he actually took two of them. Then he got a match and put it in the box. Break the spoon he just stole. Disassemble the nail clippers. Then use the nail clipper bucket to slowly and quickly grind the coins into powder. Finally put the powder on the nail clipper and the spoon fit. Light the match. Soon under the high temperature of calcination, a jailbreak artifact is easily completed. Next, move the white black box. In the floor laid burlap to catch the lime. Then start digging and chiseling frantically on the vent. With this magic tool is really more efficient. Wait until daytime and then sneak the powder outside. A few days later, the walls were finally dug almost, but found that the outside of the iron fence and cement stuck together. With brute force cannot be pulled, so he took a piece of iron wedge in the carpentry room. But just as Mike was about to leave, metal detector, but the alarm sounded before the guards could react. Mike said directly that he could take it back to hang clothes. Obviously, the guards did not agree and checked him up and down again. Mike could only leave disappointed, but unexpectedly back to the cell. He actually took out another piece of iron wedge in the bottom of the shoe. It turns out that just now is just a blindfold. Then he put the iron piece on the edge of the iron net. After a few kicks with force, iron basket net was removed by him. Then he cautiously poked his head out to check. He did find a possible way to freedom, but now was not the best time to break out of prison. He then soaked the newspaper in water and made a shape that resembled a vent. After the newspaper had dried completely, he painted the wall with the same color, and so a fake vent was cleverly created to look like a real one. Then use the same way to make a dummy head. Look at yourself in the mirror and make a nose and eyes for the dummy. Finally put it on the bed and cover it with bedding. Look as if they sleep. Everything is ready next. It is time to escape from prison. He made a dummy head out of newspaper, compared to himself in the mirror, pinched out the nose and eyes, then blued eyebrows and hair, put it on the bed and cover it with a blanket, so that it was as if he was asleep. Then he carefully drilled out the vent, and finally restored the fake vent to its original state. He followed the drainage channel and found a huge drainage pipe. He climbed up through these pipes little by little. Finally, he reached the highest level of the prison, only to find that there was no way out. There was only a skylight in the ceiling, no matter how he jumped alone cannot reach. At the same time, the guards came to Mike's door. He looked at the dummy head on the bed. At first, he didn't suspect much, but when he made a second tour, found that the sleeping position did not move. So he asked the prisoner next door suspiciously. But this did not dispel the guard's suspicions, so he deliberately threw the baton on the ground. He found that Mike still did not respond at all. He began to reach forward to test. Luckily, Mike had returned early. By the next day, he found three of his cellmates next door and persuaded them to join the escape, because Mike knew he couldn't do it on his own. With the man's subtle brainwashing, the three men nodded their heads in agreement. That night he took one of his teammates to the top floor. With the help of his teammates, Mike began to observe the skylight. He found that the skylight had been firmly welded shut. To open it, he had to use an electric drill, but the highly intelligent Mike was no fake. That day at the prison concert, he found a small fan that was broken. So when he left, he took it into his pocket. But the next thing he knew, the guards were checking one of his bags. Mike said he would check his own bag. The guards saw how confident the man was. So he decided to check the teammate behind him who looked nervous, as expected of a talented tightrope walker. At night Mike used the stolen fan and other tools, made a small electric drill. Then he used the iron pipe to pry off one of the bars. Finally climbed up to the skylight. Just when he was about to use the drill to deal with the rivets, the guards downstairs seemed to notice the anomaly on the top floor. This man was about to complete his escape from prison, but just at the critical last moment, the prison guard seemed to find anomalies upstairs. He rushed to the second floor to check. Good in the end did not find anything. Meanwhile, Mike was using a drill to deal with the rivets that were welded, but the efficiency of homemade electric drill is too bad. But the advantage is that the sound is very small, very small. So up to 998 days later, everything is finally ready. But if there is no accident, an accident will happen soon. This day, the warden personally raided each cell. The guards threw Mike's bedding on the floor. The metal detector kept scanning, and the warden went into the room. The box was opened, and the fake vent was revealed. At this point, the man was so scared that he wet his diaper. The good thing is that Mike, by the subtlety of the vent, made the perfect. The warden could not see any difference. But when he left, he said he would transfer Mike to a new cell tomorrow. He noticed that Mike had been behaving a little differently lately. With time running out, Mike decided to start the operation at night. But one of his teammates was too scared to move. Silently lying in bed and crying, Mike and his team did not care about that much. The three of them worked together and soon arrived at the rooftop. They carefully avoided the searchlights. They slowly slipped down the pipe to the ground. The guards on the other side of the patrol looked at the dummy head in front of them, also did not notice anything unusual. At this moment, the only thing left in front of freedom is this iron net. The three men quickly leaped over despite the pain. The fourth teammate who should have escaped from prison suddenly figured out. But by the time he got to the bottom of the skylight, it was already too late. He couldn't even reach it. He closed the door to freedom with his own hands. At the same time, Mike's three men finally reached the beach, took out their homemade life raft, and began to blow it up with all their might. Finally holding the life raft in the night sea, three people slowly disappeared. In the daytime, the guards saw that Mike was slow to respond. He wanted to go in and teach him a good lesson, but only a dummy head was left 
left in the room. He immediately set off the prison alarm, but searched the entire island, did not find three people. And whether they successfully escaped from prison or drowned in the sea, no one knows. This is the end of the film.